I'm going to try and prove that cos of a minus b is cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. Now I'm going to make mistakes. I'm not going to bother editing this. So if I make an error or pause for a bit, it's because I've either forgotten in my old age. I'm not doing anything from notes. So we're just going to try and do it from <coughs> understanding. And hopefully the understanding will get us through it. Well, will get me through it anyway. But it should mean that anyone watching this with a little bit of um, trigonometry background should be able to understand exactly what's going on. So first thing is I'm going to look at part of the unit circle. So I'm looking at the first quadrant. So this is one, this is one, the origin here. And I'm going to create two radii. So I'm going to create two right angle triangles within this quadrant. Call this P, Q, R, and T. I'm also going to label this angle here B, and this angle here. A. So I can create first of all an angle A minus B here because it's A with B taken off. Now that's quite important because that's really the first part of our formula here. Although I've got A's and B's also, so I'm getting something right. Now by definition, in the unit circle, these radii are all 1, then QR should be the sine of B, because it's in triangle OQR. The angle here is B, so this will be the sine of B, by definition, first principles. And this distance here should be the sine of A. OR should therefore be the cosine of B. And OT will be the cosine of A. This is all from first principles. Now, we want to somehow get the cosine of A minus B involved. So we want to look at triangle OPQ. So I'm going to create a chord here, and then I'm going to be looking at triangle, oops, triangle OPQ. <coughs> That's the one I want to look at. So I'm going to have to be looking at the cosine rule in triangle OPQ. So the cosine of AB in triangle OPQ There's many ways of looking at the cosine rule. I prefer to look at Pythagoras first um, and think if that was a right angle, then I'd have 1 squared plus 1 squared would be equal to PQ squared. But it's not a right angle triangle. So I've got to take away 2 times 1 times 1, the cosine of A minus B away. That's just how I remember the cosine rule. That's one of the ways. 1 squared and 1 squared is 1 and 1, that's 2. Minus 2 cos a minus b is pq squared. Now, I'm getting somewhere, because there's a cos of a minus b now, which I have, which I didn't have before. But there certainly isn't a pq squared in this formula. However, there is a pq here. And a lot of my students over the years haven't necessarily seen this step. A couple of the really bright ones have. So I wonder if you can work out what I'm going to do next to involve PQ. Well, all it is is that. So a horizontal part from Q to say, I'm going to call this M. And then I've got another right angle triangle, PQM. And by Pythagoras, 
PQ squared is PM squared plus MQ squared. Now, if you think about this, PM is going to be sine of A minus the sine of B, because that's the sine of A, sorry, sine of A minus sine B, yep, I've got this right, because I nearly confused myself here, because this distance here, although it is the sine of A, if I bring it along here, that's also the sine of A. This distance here is a sine of B, so this must be the sine of B as well. So just to recap, PM, which is one of the lengths I need, is going to be sine A minus sine B. And QM, or MQ, is going to be cos B minus cos A. Now, I want to go back to here, and I just want to put left-hand side equal to right-hand side. So, <clears throat> I'll do this all in one go. You should be able to work this out and follow it through. So, I'll have 2 minus 2 cos A minus B is PQ squared, which is PM squared, which is sine squared A minus 2 sine A sine B plus sine squared B plus MQ squared, which is cos squared B minus 2 cos B cos A plus cos squared A. Now, believe it or not, this is going to give me this. But be patient. We've got 2 here, minus 2 cos a minus B is, well, the lovely thing about this is from first principles, sine squared A plus cos squared A is 1. Sine squared B plus cos squared B is another 1. And then we've just got what's left. Now if we look back at what we're trying to prove, we have cos of A minus B here. We have a cos A with a cos B, and we have a sine A with a sine B. So we're almost done. 1 and 1 is 2, and I've got a 2 here, so they're going to cancel. So I'm left with negative 2 cos A minus B is negative 2 sine A sine B minus 2 cos A cos B, it's the same as that. And then I'm going to divide everything through by negative 1 and divide everything by 2. And then you can see cos of A minus B is cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. So once you've looked at that you can now start looking at cos of A plus B. We can then get to sine of A plus B and then sine of A minus B. And then from that, you can do tan of A plus B. And then from those, you can do sine 2A is 2 sine A sine B. And cos 2A is 2 cos squared A minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine squared A or cos squared A minus sine squared A. So, that's the most important one because from this, all the others follow. So in following videos, how I'm going to label all these, I don't know, but I'll get it all out there. We're going to look at all the others. So that's the most important one. If you know this one and you understand it really well, the others should follow.